Hi and welcome to the next installment of the teaching editing with DaVinci Resolve, the completely free uh, software we're using, DaVinci Resolve 17. So today I want to teach you all about using B-roll and adding text. Let's just pull that in the screen. I shall pop myself down in the bottom. And as you can see, I have uh, I have a little video already done. I'm in the edit section that you can see there that's highlighted so we have the media the cut fusion color i'm highlighted on edit uh, and we've got the preview screen that's our timeline view uh, and what i want to do is show you how to put in little b-roll so this one was an interview i did with uh, with a, an author and so i want to share with you the little video so i'm talking about videos and then i'm adding in uh, a little bit of b-roll that you can see here so let's uh remove that so we can start from scratch so that is basically our clear timeline let me uh pull in so we want to add some b-roll so there we go that was it so we want to do the b-roll so what i want to do is uh if i pop that in there so you literally just drag that onto your timeline you sit it above so it's in video two and so what happens if you play the timeline because it's sitting on top of the, so that's that hierarchy because it's sitting on top of the main uh the main video then this will come above it so in that hierarchy so that will then take cover but what we can see here is that is not the same size as our screen so what we need to do is highlight on that we go up to uh, inspector and now now we get a much better view so you can see we've got the we've got the behind so we've got that bottom timeline showing behind our b-roll uh, and so what we want to do is we want to zoom that b-roll so we've got it highlighted in red with the highlighter pen over here highlighted in red and so now we can just drag across uh, the zoom and that puts it into zoom and so that fills up the screen so we can also make it go from left to right as well and indeed the y-axis up and down so we can get the bit that we want in in shot so i want to put a little arrow uh, to highlight these little shoppable videos so that's it so i now want to put another piece of b-roll in so i've got an arrow here and this has got a transparent that's a transparent background and so i'm going to drag that over and again as i said in the hierarchy of things let's pop that above above our our timeline so now we've got our initial clip the b-roll and then we've got this transparent arrow which as you can see is huge so we want to do the reverse of what we did last time we want to reverse that zoom so we're going to shrink it and that's all we have to do just shrink that zoom down okay uh and it's really that's po that's pointing at the kitchen aid so we also want to rotate so we've got a rotation angle here as well so we can just rotate it so it's actually pointing at the shoppable videos and so now when we play i'm talking through then it clips to the b-roll with the arrow transparency and then just comes back to me so that is the basic way of how we put some b-roll into our timeline so literally you're just dragging and dropping it on top of on top of your your initial clip and uh, that will work now there's no transitions there transitions we will cover in a later episode but also what i wanted to talk about was adding text so let's grab um let's take all that off we don't need that let's put my little ducks down this is this is me feeding the ducks okay um so not a lot going on there so i want to add some text so let's take off the inspector give ourselves a little bit of room and I don't need the media pool, but I do want effects. And so let's take the media pool off. So now we can see our effects better. So we've got the toolbox here. So we've got the video transitions. And here we have titles. And in the titles, we have some uh, lower thirds that we can use. So showing up in the samples, you can see. And uh, you've got a scroll title. As we drag our cursor across, you can see what that's going to do. So that's going to scroll a title. 
Um, so that's a basic title and some custom title. So what we're going to do just for this one, we're just going to pop a basic text in. So we're just going to drag and drop it onto our timeline, as you can see there. Uh, maybe that's it there. And so it says basic title. So we've got it highlighted. I can remove the effects now as well. So we've got more room to play with. So I can make that a larger timeline. Or if you remember, we can just press on oh, we've got those. That's why it's not worked. Take them off. There you go. Pressing this button here, that will just fill our timeline so we know what we're doing. And we can click on the text button, which is called T. Go back to our inspector. And here we can see where we can change it. So we've got title and settings. So like the B-roll, we can zoom position, crop. Um, but this is where we change the text. So we can have basic title. So we're going to call it feeding, feeding the ducks. OK, so but it doesn't have to be white. We can have it any color we like. We can change it to purple, red, white, yellow, feeding the ducks. Yeah, so it's quite easy. Uh, oh, great. OK, Susanna Michael, that's a very long thing you've just done there. Um, but that's OK, we'll go with it. Um, but I'll look at that afterwards. So yeah, you can see we've got uh, feeding ducks. So we can change the color. Uh, quite easily and we can also if we go into settings now we can either we can make it bigger we can zoom it in zoom it out and we can position it so we can drop it well we can either move on side to side and uh, we can centralize it again just these these are setting keyframes we'll come to those in another episode but we've got the reset button there so we can drag it drag it we can drop it down into the bottom so then it just says feeding the ducks. So then when we play through our clip, that can just come up, feeding the ducks for as long as we want. Um, we can extend it, we can shorten it, um, no problem. All we need to do is drag that across and you can see it just drags it across the timeline. So that is how we add a title or add text overlays on our videos. Um, so that's today's nice and easy two lessons. We've added B-roll and we've added text. You know, a good play around with those. You've got all those little uh, text buttons uh, to play with.